This, in my hands, is the Moyu Tanglong. This was given to me by Phil Yu at Slow and Steady, Fall 2015. And it's definitely a good cube. The stickers that are on it, before we talk about the cube itself, are not the stickers that come with the cube. These are my personal half brights, plus deep blue, that were stickered by Andy Huang at the competition, which makes me very, very happy. For the cube itself, it is... Is it, big, is it bigger than this? Yeah, it's slightly bigger. So, is it? Maybe. It's about comparable to, again, 356 in feel and in size. The only difference between this and the GANS 356, the major, major difference is that the GANS is a little bit looser. It's, it flexes more, mostly because the best way to get this cube good is to loosen the corners, which does make the cube a little less sturdy. This doesn't have that issue, and it definitely may, uh, covers the catching issue that the GANS 356 has. I find less catching on this. It's a little bit slower, a lot more controllable. It's a blockier cube design instead of having the flexing design and the looseness of the corners. The cube definitely keeps that smooth feeling though, and whenever you're turning it slowly, it's almost inaudible. Uh, what else should I say about this? Yeah, the lockups are definitely much less of an issue on this than on the GANs. Probably because it's it's slower, you know, it's not something that's gonna when you're not gonna overshoot it as much. Corner cutting on this is supposed to be really good. Jeez. Jeez. Oh man. Look at that. Look at that. Effortless. Unbelievable. So, you should not have a problem with catching on this cube at all. The catching is so much better than on the GANs. And if I had to recommend this cube to anybody, I would, I would recommend it to pretty much anyone who liked the GANs, who liked the Outlong version 2. Ooh, oops. And... Uh, Thunderclap is, is, is not as similar. I think this cube definitely resembles the Aolong V2, the Gans, and perhaps the Ying series, the Mei Ying, the Yue Ying, something like that. It feels a little bit hollower than something like the Aolong, but it doesn't feel... The cube is not as light as the Thunderclap. It does hold some weight to it, and it's, that's, that's what makes it a little more controllable. It takes a little bit more resistance to turn. And that's a good thing for a lot of people, because with this recent trend of cubes being really fast when they come out, people, some people like me like something that's a little bit slower, and something that's going to be more reliable, more controllable in competition. This can get me better results when it's perfect, and when I'm in the, like, I can focus. But this can get me pretty much the same results, with a lot more consistency. Well, so far at least. I've only done about... 150 solves on it, but they were definitely good solves and very, very consistent. So for anyone looking for a new cube and isn't really satisfied with what they have right now, I definitely suggest this. If you do have a 3x3 that you like a lot, getting this isn't necessarily the best idea, but it will never, ever hurt. Alright guys, thanks for watching this. Thanks to Phil at... Ooh, jeez, do I still have their, their business card in my wallet? Yes! Thanks to Phil at The Cubicle for sending this to me, and I will see you guys in another video.